Ed Miliband, Nigel Farage says that he's the only one of the five of you who plans to get rid of a 1.5 trillion debt and 46 billion pounds a year of interest payments. Is he right? No, and look, his sums don't add up. But I, what I would say to Charlotte and the audience here and indeed at home is you've got to make a judgment about two things in this debate, balance and fairness. Look, I think there's some people on the stage who'll say there don't have to be any cuts at all. There'll be some people like Nigel who wants to follow David Cameron's extreme plan to double the cuts next year, which I think will be a disaster for our public services. And then this question of fairness. Look, Nigel actually wants to cut the top rate of income tax even further for the highest earners in our country, another £43,000 tax cut. Now, I just have a different view about the way a country succeeds. I think this idea that you just help the rich and powerful and the wealth will trickle down to everyone else is not the answer. You put working people first. So think about these two things as you cast your vote and make your decision, balance and fairness. I believe ours is a balanced plan and a fair plan. Okay, and your, your sums... <laughs> your, your sums... Your sums don't add up. Well, our sums do add up. And in very interestingly, Ed, we're the first political party in the history of this country to have had our manifesto promises independently verified by an economic think tank. You obviously haven't read the manifesto. You should. We haven't proposed tax cuts for the rich. This is not the right time to do that. Now is the time to take the low paid or minimum wage out of tax. Now is the time to help the squeeze middle, to give people incentives to go to work, to make that gap between being at work and being on benefits bigger. Um, and I have to say, this talk of austerity from you and all the others, please, please, please can we remember this year we are borrowing 90 billion pounds more. Our national debt is 1.5 trillion. We have a real problem here. And I haven't heard from you, Ed, a single cut that you would make. Not one. That, that's, that's wrong, Nigel. Well, tell me. Well, I'll tell, tell you. Me. Tell me we how you're going to balance the for, books. We said that for pensioners with incomes over 42,000 pounds, we'll yep. take away the winter fuel allowance. That's a difficult decision. Yep. We've shown how we can save hundreds of millions of pounds in local government, in yep. policing elsewhere. But I just want to take well, issue... That's all I want to take issue... Let me bring one or two of the others uh, let in. Let me just say this to you, David, about the spending cuts, because I right. really want to, the audience to understand this. Because Nigel hasn't denied that he wants to double the spending cuts next year. Now, he's got these fantasy figures that somehow getting out of Europe is going to save all this money, when it's a disaster disaster for jobs in our country. The reality is that for the NHS and education, Nigel, your plans are dangerous. All They're right. like David Cameron's plans and they are dangerous for our core public services, which Charlotte and many others rely on. 